Good morning, guys. I wanted to share something with you today that I've kind of figured out that might be a really cool hack if you guys are using the Mini and kind of maxing the output of the machine. Yesterday, it took me an hour to juice five stalks of celery, an hour. And I think a lot of this is, and I need to get in contact with Charlie to see if we can sharpen the Mini blade, but the celery is so stringy and there's certain things that are harder to juice than other things like carrots which I'm testing right now that just take a long time to grind and if you guys have been following us for all five years now we had a CT set so hot kind of like the first generation of the X1 mini on the truck and with the CT7 came the SAMIC. This is how you ground up the produce, uh, chopped it up really fine. Grind it all at once instead of doing it in sections? No, I used to grind it all at once. This time, now I'm going to do it in sections. Any result will be better than what we have had in the past couple days, so <laughs> I have no doubt that this will work. Here we go. That's good, guys. She said to pulsate it. Forget how to do that, to be honest. Never actually used a pulse option, but I think we're good. All right, we're going with it. There was no grinding chamber uh, hopper on the CT7. So the SAMIC is a commercial grade. This is like a $2,000 food processor, and it, within second, like five seconds, it grinds the whole press cycle. So where I was spending five to 10 minutes, like literally, her batch just pushing stuff into the grinder. This does it in five seconds. So far I think this will help with carrots, greens, and celery. Uh, some of the just things that are harder to juice. Turning 10 pounds of carrots into mash takes about 30 seconds on the stomach. I'm gonna keep testing this and I'm gonna show you guys uh, the difference, but this could be a huge, um, just an easy upgrade that would get you to a higher output on the mini. Doesn't change the quality of the juice or anything. This is still getting chopped in there versus the way that it would get chopped in here. But just in the hour that I've been doing this, I've noticed huge improvements in time. Hopper is bigger, so produce needs prepped less. You can just throw it in um, and you're able to do the whole three to five pound press cycle in one grind. So instead of doing what would take three to four like rounds of grinding in the hopper takes one time and it's three times to five times as fast. feel like I'm back on the truck with all these sounds and using the salmon. That's it. That would have taken, I mean, you guys just saw that took five seconds. If this is what I think it is, this is an awesome, awesome upgrade, um, especially if you're pushing the upper limits of your output on the mini. This is such a nice, safe piece of mind that isn't a huge price jump to Judith. It's just a $2,000 upgrade. And if y'all are juicers and watching this, you know that any little time saver, this is a big time saver, uh, is worth money. Time is money. The more time that we have to spend juicing, and there's variables in all of this. Like, I always have to take into account the time that it's going to take to clean Judith. Um, the press bags, the quality of juice that we want to serve. Like, we still use the mini every time we use Judith. part about this whole hack. It all goes right in the dishwasher.
I think the blade just needs sharpened on the mini, but there is a noticeable difference using the Samic and versus the X1 Mini. I'll keep y'all posted. That would have taken me normally an hour, took me like 20 minutes, and I was talking to people and vlogging it. And yeah, pretty excited. This could be a big upgrade to the Mini. I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. I did want to say that when you're working in a food service industry, you have this like three to four hour window before you have to sanitize the machine. Uh, so kind of work in like three to four hour shifts with these guys. Um, and if you can fit, I'm thinking even double. I'll keep you guys posted on Monday when I juice on the mini on my max output. Max output. Max output. But I'm thinking two times as much. running joke that Jordan would make a great meteorologist. I really would. So could you give us a weather report? <laughs> Guys, the cold is coming in. It's a little delayed. Fall kind of like, where did fall go? No. This could be a new segment, juicing with meteorologist Jordan. Uh, tonight is supposed to be like freezing. So I am giving up on this pineapple stuff. You know, even if I try hard, it doesn't work. Okay, well we attempted to make a pineapple pear ginger. But it's going to be a limited edition juice. First time we juiced it last Saturday, it didn't go well either. There's lots of hate words. We're going to wrap this video up because it's pretty much a fail. Fail as far as juicing, fail as far as weather is freezing. We'll call it beanies and bugs. I wish it would have worked out because pineapple is really good for you. It's really high in bromelain. Well, it would work if we had the next one. Perseverance. Mushy things. It doesn't handle mushy things well, like grapefruit. Maybe I need to grind it less. What's in here? Oh, some apples. So many apples. Oh, is that gonna fall? No. <laughs> Look at that color. The that other one is pink. Because it was after the beat. Oh, the beat. Always gotta be bossy in color and everything. It does, you're right. It's weird because like your face is right there, but you're also right there. We sold out of the pineapple pear ginger very fast. Let's go home, it's freezing.